Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another makeup tutorial which is this nude look and this lipstick I did use in one of my recent tutorials but it wasn't used alone. It was like a combination with another lipstick and it was something different but I wanted this pure color, this nude color and the whole look I did was around it. So now let's just get started. I'm going to show you how I did it. First of all, I'm priming my eyelids, no surprise here. Um, I'm doing this because I want the eyelid to last a lot longer. I'm using a paint pot from MAC and this is in soft ochre. Then to lift some shadows around the eyes, on the inner corners especially, I'm using a concealer. This one is from Maybelline, the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. Afterwards, I'm always setting my base, my eyelids, although the soft ochre has a matte finish, but I want a smooth transition for the eyeshadows I'm going to put on top. The brush I'm using here is a 217 from MAC. Then for the brows, I'm using a Wonder Brow product. This is in the shade Brunette and I'm applying it with a Zoeva angled brush. This product is waterproof, it's very, very resistant. And then just to comp my brows, just to go through the hairs of them, I'm using the Keep Me Brow Gel from Benefit in the shade 3. So now I'm going to use a palette from Estee Lauder for the eye look and um, this is in truffle and I'm first taking the shimmery lightest eyeshadow from the quad and this is going to be the highlighter underneath the brows. I'm doing this with the help of a 208 brush from Kiko. Then to my lids I'm going to apply that shimmery light brown with a brush from Ziva the 225. As you can see I'm covering the whole lid space and I'm also going just the slightest bit into the crease area. On a 231 small crease brush also from Ziva, I am taking the darkest shadow which is matte and this is like a warm brown and I'm applying it on the outer corners only. Now this look is all about the eyeliner, not so much about the eyeshadows on the lids, but about the eyeliner I'm going to make it more thick than the usual and more elongated, more cat eye looking. For the top lashes only I'm using the Volume Seduction Mascara from Bourjois in black. Then the false lashes I'm going to use are quite dramatic, they are from the House of Lashes in Starlet. Before applying them I like to curl them and this is how it's looking and I love the fact that I can curl them from the lash band. If I were to put them on and then to curl them they would be curled from the middle upwards. So this is just a trick of mine and as I've said in other tutorials you can prevent the over curling which can be a problem sometimes. For now I'm finished with the eyes but I'm going to come back to them later to do the bottom part and right now I'm going to do my base, my whole base and I'm applying first a face primer which is from Maybelline, the Master Prime Primer in the shade 10. My foundation is also from Maybelline, it's the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in the shade Ivory. I'm dabbing it onto my skin with a dampened Miracle Complexion sponge from Real Techniques. 
the same Fit Me Concealer also from Maybelline I've used previously in the shade 10 I'm going to use also on my T-zone so underneath the eyes on the forehead along the nose and a bit on the chin the purpose for this is to brighten the area where you apply it and also to conceal if your foundation didn't cover enough your concealer can be your backup plan to blend everything in I'm using another mini sponge from Real Techniques Then to set everything into place I'm using a press powder from Bare Minerals which is in translucent and first I grabbed a setting brush from Real Techniques for the T-zone and a larger one for the rest of my face. After setting my base, I'm going to start and give life to it. And first, I am using a bronzer, which comes from this palette from Luvia. And the brush I'm using here is a face brush from Bare Minerals. Now, for my face shape, I'm applying the bronzer like this. I'm following my cheekbone. I'm not going too high with it. And on the forehead, I'm just hitting the very edge of my forehead because I have a narrow forehead and I don't want to make it too narrow, but I do want to have a bit of balance. Then along the jawline and on the chin, I'm also applying just the slightest bit to make it more chiseled looking. And then along the neck, because if it's whiter than my face, it's not going to look good. The nose contour I usually like to do it combining the bronzer I'm using with a contouring powder because together they give a more natural appearance and I guess today I was a bit too lazy so I contour with the bronzer. Then for contouring I am using a contour powder from Makeup Geek in Breakup and this brush is from Ziva. The highlighter from the palette I'm applying then to the highest points of my face with a fan brush from Ziva. So the highlighted areas are going to come forward, whereas the contour areas are going to sink in. For blusher I'm taking the ones from the palette and I'm mixing them and this brush is from Real Techniques, it is a blusher brush. When I'm applying my blusher I like to go between the highlighter and the bronzer and I also like to swipe it upwards towards the ears. So now I'm finished with my base, I did everything I wanted and I'm going to move once again to the eyes and apply that dark brown underneath the eyes. And I'm going to smoke it out with the same brush from Zuiva, the T31. Again, I'm taking the lightest shadow from the quad. This is going to be the inner corner highlighter. Then with a brown eyeliner from Rimmel in the shade 114, I'm going to line the waterline. One of the best mascaras on the market is definitely the MAC Extended Play Mascara in black, which is waterproof. I'm applying this only to the lower lashes. I only need it there because I don't want to end up with panda eyes. For tight lining, I'm using the Too Faced Perfect Black Eyeliner and I'm doing this always because I think it makes a huge difference. No white space there, just blackness and smokiness. Speaking about smoking good, I am using then for the lips a liquid lipstick from Maybelline as well in the shade 55 Driver. I love, love this shade, I think, on anyone. So everyone, what do you say about this look? I hope you liked it. As always, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. And follow me on social media. I am on Instagram, on Facebook and on Vero. And I am going to catch you in my next tutorial now. Bye!